Its mission is to be salt of the earth and light of the world. This people is a most sure seed of unity, hope, and salvation for the whole human race. Its destiny finally is the kingdom of God, which has been begun by God himself on earth, and which must be further extended until it has been brought to perfection by him at the end of time. A Priestly, Prophetic, and Royal People, 783 Jesus Christ is the one whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and established as priest, prophet, and king. The whole people of God participates in these three offices of Christ and bears the responsibilities for mission and service that flow from them. 784. On entering the people of God through faith and baptism, one receives a share in this people's unique priestly vocation. Christ the Lord, high priest taken from among men, has made this new people a kingdom of priests to God his Father. The baptized by regeneration and the anointing of the Holy Spirit are consecrated to be a spiritual house and the holy priesthood. 785. The holy people of God shares also in Christ's prophetic office, above all in the supernatural sense of faith that belongs to the whole people, lay in clergy, when it unfailingly adheres to this faith once for all delivered to the saints, and when it deepens its understanding and becomes Christ's witness in the midst of this world. 786. Finally, the people of God shares in the royal office of Christ. He exercises his kingship by drawing all men to himself through his death and resurrection. Christ, King and Lord of the universe, made himself the servant of all, for he came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. For the Christian to reign is to serve him, particularly when serving the poor and the suffering, in whom the church recognizes the image of her poor and suffering founder. The people of God fulfills its royal dignity by a life in keeping with its vocation to serve with Christ.